Today I'm checking out this RecPro RV external spray port. So this is what's on our RV right now and we brought our RV into the dealer. They ran some water in it while they had it and didn't re-winterize it. So one of these plastic pieces here broke and you can't order just a little plastic piece. So I'm gonna take this thing out of the package that you see what I'm talking about and then I'm gonna go put it in the RV. This is it out of the package. This is the spray port, what you see when you look at your RV. And then this is what's behind it. There's this, and then you're gonna have your water line connecting here. This piece here broke on ours. You can't order just this from them. They told me that, you know, basically you have to order the whole piece. I just ordered this off of Amazon. All of this was one package. I wanted this spray port, which again is something else they don't sell by itself, it seems. So I ordered this kit that comes with it because I have another water hose that I wanna be able to use and I'd have to put this on it to do it. But that's it, I'm gonna go take this and put it in. I want you to notice that it does not come with the rubber seal that's around this. So if you can save the one you have in your RV, save it. Um, if not, you'll probably have to make your own because I didn't see anywhere they sell just that seal. This plastic piece here also is not just a regular coupler. It's got like a, I think it's a backflow preventer. And that's it. This is exactly what we have in our RV and I'm going to go put it on. So this is the one we have on there and I had to make this from a hardware store out of just a coupler here because it was, you know, spraying water everywhere and we needed to be able to use the RV. So I made this out of just some pieces there, but it doesn't have the backflow preventer or anything on it. And, you know, it's just not the way I want it to be. So I'm going to take all of this off keep this as a spare in case this ever happens again, but I'm gonna take it all off and put the new one on. What I was meaning by these gaskets is if you notice, this has some like foam type of gasket sealer that goes around it that I'm gonna try to save that since the new one did not come with that. And then of course they came and put silicone, which is very typical on RVs. They just silicone everything on here. I'm gonna put it back on. I'm gonna try to get some of this off and then re-put a better layer of silicone around it. One thing I did notice, if you look under the sticker on this new one, it says D&W Inc. on it, which is, I don't know if that's Rec Pro or not, but it does say that underneath it. And that helps confirm it's the same port that I had, because look at mine. That sticker on mine had fallen off, and if you look underneath it, it says D&W Inc. Definitely says it's the same one. So if you notice here, now there's this rubber gasket around the back of the spray port. This is the new one. So I took the rubber gasket off the other one very slowly peeled it off and it went on okay it came off as two pieces and then of course this port is on i don't think i'm gonna need thread tape on this because there is a black rubber gasket back here that's like a pressure gasket so i think that's going to be good enough but if i detect any leaks i'm going to put some thread wrap on it but i don't believe that this screw on head here is a sealed piece. I think the seal is when the plastic touches that rubber gasket. But we'll see when I turn it on. This is everything that's needed. And I basically am just going to go ahead and screw back in with the screws that were already on this. These screws also did not come with the port. You have to use the screws that were already here or get you another set of screws. This is the new one. All right. Well, I hope this information was helpful. Thank you all very much for watching. Take care.